Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking phone. It is A7S. It's a budget phone that has been launched by a company called Yumi Digi. Yes, we just received one from them. I'm very thankful of it. And I want to mention that this phone comes with two gigabyte of RAM and 32 gig internal storage. It comes with AI thermometer testing, which you can check your temperature with this phone. You don't need any other devices. Plus, and it comes with Android 10. It's a MediaTek chipset. And let's just get into it. So don't forget to click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon and select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. Don't forget to click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos very, very quickly with more detail every time. You can see that the box is nicely designed. Once we open it, the phone is sitting right on the top. We will take that off. And here are all the components that are part of this box. Now it comes with this power adapter, which is created for overseas. You can see the connector. It is five volt, one amp. And it also comes with this power adapter. One side is USB type C. The other side will go to regular USB 2.0. And the wire is colored differently. It also comes with a little documentation. And once you open it, you can see the SIM slot opener. And once you open it, you have your user manual and it is pretty thick, has a lot of information in it. Now the phone is designed really nice. I really like that back, how they have managed to make it nice and blue and also have that little lines to it to bring a little texture. When you look down, it has the company name. When you're looking up, you will see the cameras, which is three of them. Also, it has the AI thermometer there. And you also have the flash. Going on one side of it, you will see the little button. So that way, if you press it one time, the AI thermometer will come on. So you can check your temperature. Or if you hold it for a few seconds, the flash comes on. You can switch them back and forth. There is a settings for it as I'm showing you right now. Also, little bit up, you will see the SIM slot. Now with the SIM slot, the best part is that you can put two SIMs and one micro SD, which can read up to 128 gigabyte. Going on the top of this phone, you have a headphone jack, which a lot of new phones do not have anymore. Going on the other side of it, from the top, you will see the volume up and down and then the power button. Now going down a little bit, from the bottom side, you can see it has the mic. You also have USB type C for charging and you also have the speaker. Now, talking about the speaker itself, we're testing it right now. So here's the sound part that from the speaker, how loud it can get. So now playing with this phone is very nice and easy. You just have to unlock. And now you can see that it is very responsive when you want to go to an actual screen and you can go and maneuver back and forth. It really, really plays pretty nicely. There's no stop to that. One thing I really like is when you want to go towards the apps, it plays it really nicely. I have to mention that this is the second launcher that we have placed on top of it to make it a lot better, but it makes it a lot smoother and a lot faster to play with any of these apps that you can see. You can see that that I have no latency when I'm placing or when I'm touching the screen to play with, with the screen or this launcher itself. We will test out the actual camera to show exactly how good it takes pictures. You can see it right now that I have this little car model that I always put behind my videos that I really like and this was gifted to me by my daughter. So here you go. I am just going to take some pictures to show exactly how it looks. So here you go. That's the first one. Now, if you want to zoom in a little bit, here you go. That looks even better. And every time I snap a picture, I want to put it on the screen itself so you can actually see it. And this way you will be able to see on the side of the screen how it really looks. And now this is another one that I took. So that's not the only thing. You also have a portrait mode. Now this, what it does is it will blur out all the way around it. So if I have to leave any of my other particles beside it, 
something like this USB on a side, it will be all blurred out. So let's just do that and take a picture. So taking a picture, it looks beautiful. Now that's not the only thing, you can also do a video. Now for video, you're not going to get really high resolution. If you go to settings, you can see that everything is set up, but you can see that the video quality on this is maximum 720p maximum on the top. And then you can see the VGA and then it goes down to very, very low quality. So we leave it on 720p, we will go back and let's just take some video from this. So here you go, this is the actual video. So I just wanna make sure it focuses. And then we will play it right on the screen to show you exactly how good this looks. And we will film. Yes, our hands are in front of it, but this is how it looks when you're filming. And just clicked on focus. All right, so this was the film part of it. All right, one thing that I didn't do is taking picture with the front camera. So let's do that a little bit different in this video so we can show you on the screen. I do not want to take my, my own picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this picture with my hand on it. So this way you know that I'm doing it properly. So let's just flip a little bit so you can see. And we're going to change the screen. There you go. So you can see that it is we're going to the front. And now using the actual button on it, it will take a picture so let's just hold it properly there you go and I'm gonna put my hand on it there you go see that and then I'm going to take a picture and you can see that there was a little bit of a flash going through and you can see that it was a little blink so let's just check it out to see how it looks and there you go this is how it looks when you're putting it on the actual screen right there the next thing we want to cover is going to be your sound recorder so here you go, this is how it sounds when you're recording using your actual phone, just like we're going to talk to the phone itself. So here you go. So once you start recording, there you go, now it's recording it. This is just a test to show you exactly how loud it will pick up your voice directly when you're talking in front of it, just like when you want to talk to someone and you put them on a speaker. So if you are trying to watch this some is video the directly you from something so like I Disney Plus, you can process it very easily. It. So yes, you can make it full screen or minimal, which is a pretty cool thing. But again, you can see that, that it plays the video properly for you and it will work for you accurately. You can also see that you can log in to your Netflix very easily by just a few clicks. And as long as you have an account, you can go through and you can play any videos you want directly from your Netflix. Now we have done some benchmarking. And the first thing that we went through is Geekbench 5. And you can see for single core, we received 84. And for multi-core, we got 282. Remember that this is not a Helio. This is MediaTek chipset that they're using. So yeah, there will be a little bit of a difference. But I am sure that the developers are watching this. And there you go. That's the name of the chipset itself. And they're going to get this corrected and fixed a little bit more so that way we can get a better quality out of this. Now, the second thing that we have done is going and installing AIDA64. This gives you a lot of internal information about the actual phone itself. The name is right. The brand name is there too. Now, going down, there's the hardware and also the platform and the product ID is properly there too. RAM install is 2 gigabyte. I really like that. The internal storage on this is 32 gig, but you can put a micro SD on this and you can expand it with another 128 gig. You can see that the Bluetooth on this is 4 plus, which is 4.2. Going under CPU itself, here's some information. You can see that it is MediaTek MT6735. Now, if you go on the bottom, it is quad core. You can see the ones that are sleeping and the ones that are running, and it is running perfectly. You can see that there's no heat to this, which I really like. And also the governor is interactive. That means it is going to fix the heat by itself. So going under display, you can see that it is running on 720p and you cannot overclock it to go higher and a DPI is there too. Now the GPU on this is Molly T720, which is a really good arm by the way. It is running on 60 Hertz and the OpenGL is 3.1 and that's why you could see that we were playing that game.
Go on under Android itself, we are running Android 10, and the security patch is from September 5th, you can see from 2020, which is not that far away. Now go on under Sensors. This is something really cool. So you can see the magnetometer is there really too, that it works. Gyroscope is there too, light. Everything is doing proper job. There's the gravity sensor and there's the line and the rotation vector. So these are some things that some people really requesting to see. So I have it right there. You can see that you have the VP9 and VP8. So it will do your job properly. And we've shown you through YouTube and through some other apps that you can zoom into the actual picture. So it takes the full screen. I really like that. This phone works with all networks in Canada and United States. I have tested it with Freedom Mobile, also with Fido, with Rogers, and with Bell Mobility. It all works really, really good. I have to mention that the data that comes in is no more than 3G for me on this, but it does the job accurately for me. All the links will be available where you can order it from, and if you have a question, please ask at the bottom of the video. Except that, I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places, and thank you.